Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. We had a very long, um, I, sorry. It was a very long period of time where McDonald's was just not doing anything special. Like, I think they released, at one point they did their, you know, their slushies. But other than that, very quiet. And they got rid of their all-day breakfast and made things simple for their employees. Which, good on them. Good on them for keeping things pretty much simple and uh, quiet. Other than with their McDonald's toy collections. Because those were a little bit hectic. But aside from that, um, McDonald's last week, this past week, has really slammed their employees brought in the Travis Scott meal which is easy to remember they added spicy nuggets with a mighty hot sauce and we have the Chips Ahoy McFlurry and they're also bringing pumpkin spice lattes back so a lot is going on at McDonald's right now so employees might be flustered so please be patient as you go to McDonald's they don't get paid all that much, and they don't get trained all that well. Um, but aside from that, I'm excited to give you my second McDonald's review of the day. I am leaning towards posting this tonight. Three reviews in one day is a bit crazy, is it not? But uh, I'll give you guys that subscribe to me a rest. But if you don't subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Simple as that. Um, check out my Instagram, we're in next snack and food. And you know the deal. Give this video some love. Like it. Comment on it. Share it. Be my friend. Tell me what you gotta tell me. But uh, yeah, not the best beginning there. Like trying to like elaborate words. And sometimes words are hard to get out. But like yeah, McDonald's has really slammed out some new things for us. So um, I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not upset with them at all for doing this um i feel like they probably they probably warned employees quite a bit ahead of time to be ready for this um and that uh it's not that big of a deal but i i feel like some employee i was in this mcdonald's behind me and uh, i feel like some employees were struggling a little bit which makes sense but you gotta give it to mcdonald's they gave their employees other than with their Happy Meal toys, because, like, they had, like, a huge menu collection that people were trying to collect. Other than that, they really didn't make it a very hard job for employees. Like, for about six months, it's been, like, just cruise control. And all these other places, like Dairy Queen, they've been unloading Blizzard after Blizzard. And Popeyes have been doing some things. Burger King's been throwing some things here and there. Um... Chick-fil-A was kept it quiet until this well Chick-fil-A did their typical thing they did their peach shake and they did a new drink that didn't require much else but like they just they didn't like do anything crazy new now they've got two crazy new things coming on Monday so like I know I'm getting distracted I'm rambling on I like to do that um but like that's one of the things that really pissed me off and sorry if that offends you me saying that um but like a lot of these places just didn't care that corona was here and that people were going to start utilizing fast food restaurants a lot more through the drive through so the job for employees was getting harder and like you're still putting new things out there and you know the emphasis was please stay home and how you want how you want to line up with that if you're putting new things out there so I think McDonald's did a pretty good job at like not putting a lot of new things out and they gave it a break and I gave them props but this is a very exciting and hectic time and it's kind of hard to keep people home at this point anyways so anyways um yeah I got this Chips Ahoy McFlurry and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and review it for you guys and not waste your time much more but uh, I'm trying. I'm gonna give you a good view of it. I'll take. It's still thick enough, so I'll try and show you from the scoop. But I guess it's like a caramel. 
I guess like a caramel sauce in there. I don't really know particularly. I didn't. I was gonna read before I started eating this, but oh well. I ain't gonna read right now. But there's a scoop of it, and uh, let's go ahead and try this out and tell you what I think. Hmm. That is good. That is really good. A lot of sugar, but the ice cream and the cookie pieces, it's just so good. I'm not really sure what this brown sauce is. I think it's caramel. But... Whatever it is, it goes well with the whole McFlurry. You know, let's give you another view. Um, yeah, but it almost nails it again with the McFlurry, you know? And we don't typically get a Chips Ahoy ice cream combination. Usually see Oreo everywhere, but McDonald's decided to do Chips Ahoy, and oh boy! Here's my advice: I think if you got Oreo and Chips Ahoy mixed together, and even if you got bold and put M and M's in there too, that would be one delicious treat. I'm, I have no choice but to give this something I don't give a lot of things it's going to get a 10 it is just loaded with flavor and it's just delicious the only problem is like to the, at the bottom is like A little less, but that's kind of like the mistake with most places. And so I'm gonna try to start stop judging fast food places for like having less at the bottom. That's just how it is. So I need to start mixing a little bit more. But overall, an excellent treat for you folks out there. If you get the spicy nuggets, this will be a good side to that, um, especially when it will call you, cool you down for sure. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, football season's back, so McDonald's, oddly, is not like doing anything promotional for football. So that's interesting. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty hype season for McDonald's, if you ask me. So I will see y'all around, and uh, that's it.